What's up, bros? Good day, bros. Good day, welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Lua modding tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at custom familiars and how to make one in this fifth episode of the series. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or stuff about it. And uh, yeah, let's go and show you how you can make your own custom familiars in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus with Lua. So uh, yeah, first of all, you guys want to go. Uh, let me first do this because I made a stupid mistake last time. That's why I'm now re-recording everything. So here we go, we're back. And uh, yeah, let's first show you a map. And this map has lots of stuff. So here we go, we have the familiar. So these, basically you need these two files. This is the sprite file and this is the demigod am2 file, which is the animation file. You need to grab that one. Then we finally have content and you want to have end these two for the uh, familiar. So let's go because we are in a hurry and uh, yeah, let's show you the code. So first of all, we're going to start off by how do you do this? Well, start off with local demigod register mod. We basically register mod. Then we have demigod familiar, which basically gets the entity for little demigod then we have demigod for variant which basically gets a variant for little demigod and then we have a couple of random local stuff going on um, uh, run false which basically checks if the run is false uh, then it will just go false then we have demi x uh, exists so it checks if demi is actually in the game and then we have the first function which is mod demi unit which checks if the if demi card is actually in the game so the run starts and it goes to true then we have the player information get grabbed and we have the first grid collection class because otherwise the familiar will actually just go to the wall and we don't want that so next up we have a local function which is called mod update check which checks the play data and then we have if the player has collectible which is little demi got the collectible then it will spawn the or little Little guy the entity familiar 121 variant zero you want to put a zero because familiars don't have a subtype vector we want to have player position so it spawns at the player's position then we have the vector which basically doesn't have any speed and yeah that's basically it and then demi exists is true next we have function mod update god which basically adds sprites from the demi god we have player which basically adds a uh, play information again enemy target which uh, Gets a hat direction. We have the last direction, which basically does the same thing. Entities, which checks the entities. We have the tiers, which uh, basically are the tier indicator. Then we have tier shot files, which is basically to show uh, when tier shot are not shooted. Uh, when the animation is over. Then we have if demi exists, then uh, it will follow the position. This is a really important code, guys. Because a lot of people have been struggling with it. It's really easy. It is just if demi exists, it's true. Then demi guard, double dot, follow position is vector, is player dot position x player dot position y that is basically the code and that will allow the familiar to follow you around the next up we have a for loop for the entities then we have if entity is enemy then it's false or true then if the player has the collectible or collectible then the player frame count will be 40 otherwise there will be a tier spam and our game will be fucking lagging uh, next up, it will play the sprite, which is idle down. I got to show you here in the an 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 uh, animation editor. So here are all the animations that you guys can choose from. And you can choose from all of these. As you can see on screen, they all have different kind of animations. About, like floating, shooting, stuff like that. So keep that in mind when you're making a um, familiar that he has to create good sprites. So I had to make a float shoot left because there wasn't one. And otherwise it won't look cool. So I have float shoot left. Float shoot up, float shoot right, and I use less direction in order to get the right uh, direction for the tier. So when I am shooting, um, when I'm shooting up, the familiar will shoot up. When I'm shooting left, the familiar will shoot left. It shoots lost contact tiers, by the way, which is really cool. I really like it. Fits really with the style of the of the familiar. And finally, we have tier shot false, so we don't have a spam of tiers. Then finally, we have function demi got render, which basically renders all the text for debugging purposes. And then the demi uh, callbacks, which are MC evaluate catch, which checks the catch. Then we have MC familiar init, which checks if the familiar is there. Then we have MC familiar update, which updates the familiar. And finally, we have MC post render, which renders the text on screen. So now that we finally are done, let's check out the familiar himself in game. In and also the first sneak preview of. The Binding of Isaac. Now, I mean, <laughs> of the Binding of Jesus. Because as you can see, the Binding of Jesus is here. Yes, I'm not joking. This is definitely the, this is the, 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 the that's the Binding of G Jesus. I, I'm not joking. Wait, let me show you. Boom. You see that shit? Yeah, that's the Binding of Jesus, my friend. That's the Binding of Jesus. The Binding of what? Yeah, the Binding of Jesus. Have you ever heard of the Binding of Jesus? Well, this is the Binding of Jesus. Yeah, the binding of Jesus. We all love the binding of Jesus, do we? Do we love the binding of Jesus? Do we love the binding of Jesus? So here we go. The binding of Jesus, Holy Birth Plus. This is the first 
quick preview, quick sneak preview of my new project that I'm busy with, a lot of people. So here we go. As you can see, we have also some new uh, animations in there. Uh, I need to add so much more stuff. Uh, we have plans for a, a special mod. I mean, monsters, bosses. We have like a holy monstro idea. So much stuff going on. And that's why I'm making this familiar as the first item. Which is really excited. Also, Trinity is going to be in this mod as well. So it's going to be really sick. So here we go. It's going to be adding like loads of angels. And we got a new custom character. It's Jesus. And we made him, yes, in the last episode. And uh, yeah. So this is Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the first room they start in. It's called a new floor. It's called the church. That's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let me show you... Uh, let me show you the items. So here we go. Gift item C511. Boom! Here is a little guy. What's up? It's Demigod and he shoots stairs. Look at that. How cute that is. That's so cute. So let me first grab this. Oh yeah! A pet of the keeper. Thank you so much angels. You're so awesome. And we got more of these coins because I like some coins. Oh we got nothing in those. Too bad. Uh, also as you can see the health has been changed to crosses. Pretty cool stuff. I also changed the treasure rooms and so much stuff that I already changed, um, but even more to come. <laughs> so we got another cross, yay! Okay, now let's go to the treasure room and we get- Oh shit, watch out! Watch out for the entry deed! Watch out for the altar greed! Okay, there we go. And look, we also get a new card! I changed them to a cross. Cool, right? Oh, it's a joker! We can have a devil deal, guys! Let's go! Oh, wrong button. How, how do I do that again? Oh, there we go. Oh no, we play against Krampus! Kill him! Oh no, the game is laggy. Shit! Oh my god. Oh no, Demigod, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you make the game so laggy? Don't do that! Yes, yeah, sorry guys, if the game is a bit laggy, that's obviously because of... Um, of Demigod. He is basically spamming the tears. As you can see, he spams tears. He actually spams, spams tears like this. I know it's not handy. Wait, let me just change that real quick. I'm just going to change it to true really flipping quickly because this is not, not nice. I don't like it. There. Yeah, okay. So now only if it's an enemy, he's going to shoot. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, this is much better. Okay, he's actually disappearing. What are you doing, boy? Come here. He disappeared. Okay, let me, let me just restart. <laughs> Level real quick for you guys. Um, okay, let's do that again. Sorry for that. Uh, that was pretty stupid of me. So here we are. We're back. And now he only shoots when, yeah, when there's actually an enemy. Because otherwise he lacks the shit out of everything. Oh, we, sa we got saved there. That was good. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Um, as you can see, we got some custom poop. Custom blue poop, and this has a little cross on the stone. I like I like just the, the, the little details that I've made in this game, in this mod. I just put so much time in it. Like, look at the menu. I already made everything blue. It's pretty insane. Oh, treasure room. What's inside? Oh god, box of spiders. Get the fuck out of my face. Okay, here we go. Let's kill these motherfuckers. As you can see, he actually shoots when enemies are coming and he is really powerful. Like his tears are so good. I don't know. I like his tears. They're pretty awesome. And they fit his, um, his style. He's like demigod. My first thought was to add like brimstone to this guy, but I haven't done it because, yeah, obviously white brimstone is difficult where you never made a familiar. And that is the new boss room door. Looks really cool. Hopefully we got Monstro so I can show you the holy Monstro. Yay! Holy Monstro! In progress, because Monstro still hasn't changed. Yes, I'm going to uh, change his sprite uh, tonight, so don't worry about it. But yeah, we already are planning for Holy Monstro to be in this game. And it's, a, it's been, like every boss is going to get a variant, which is basically the Holy version. And we'll have like Crack of the Sky attacks and stuff like that. It's going to be really sick to make our own little bosses. That really have a new kind of theme to it. Well, it's going to add new floors and everything. It's going to be so sick. I'm like really excited for you guys to see it. It's going to be like an anti-birth kind of expansion feeling. So it's going to be a long project. And hopefully we're going to finish it. Uh, yeah. Already doing a pretty good job right now. And uh, yeah, Monster is dead. So um, that is the end of the video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, and I want to tell you guys that at Sunday I'm going to be streaming together with my boy Accept, then the, uh, accept, 
accidental grenade. I'm also have a collab plant with Mfu, and I have a collab plant with Lightbringer. So, if you guys are interested in checking that out, well, it comes out this week or next week, so check it out and be sure to check out all these channels. And this was Broski Plays. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, you guys now know how to make your own familiar. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And stay Broski. Bro Slam. Um, I mean, Broski.